evening and welcome to the first preview show of uh, the 2022 season at Armadale Speedway. We say the first uh, preview show, but we're going to be a bit curtailed tonight. We're, we had the, the season launch on Friday night, so we're, we're just got a, a quick intro for the, for the match this weekend with the, the Berwick Bullets are the first uh, opponents to grace the Armadale Shell and the, the Armadale Devils go for their second season in the National League. It's uh, there were some cracking meetings last year, Mike, and we're looking forward to some good meetings again this season. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's, it's a well matched match on Friday, and uh, Berwick were a very good second in the in the National Development League last year. And uh, Alan Budzinski, the team manager, has been making a lot recently of uh, the fact that Armadale would have come third if they had won that last match <laughs> against Kent away, which didn't happen. So. I think that's called putting a positive spin on things. Uh, but I think it's fair to say the Devils were competitive home and away in, in pretty much every match. So uh, I'm looking forward to Friday very much. Yes, definitely. And it's, it's great that the guys get the opportunity to be first first on the track. So hopefully there'll be a, a large, eager crowd there ready to see some speed to watch the to, to watch the young guys. And, the, and obviously we've got so many of last year's team Coming back, it's uh, be a good opportunity to see them see them develop. Definitely, I think uh, both teams have got three quite experienced heat leaders. It'll be interesting to see the clashes between uh, Lawson, Woolley, and Phillips on one side, and and Kyle Bickley, um, Luke Krang, and uh, what's his name, uh, Greg Blair, of Greg course, Blair. on the other yeah. side. Yeah. So I think that's really interesting. We've got Ace Piper coming in at reserve for Berwick. Goodness knows how he'll do it. Big step up from the Youth Championship, but he's a talented young lad. And uh, on the home side, we want to see how well the Millers and uh, George Rother in particular, perhaps, are going to go this season. Yeah, I mean, George was one of the ones that really set the heather on fire at the start of last season, as we'll see shortly. But uh, that sort of exciting talent and Giving these guys a chance to race is, is, is what these meetings are all about. As you, as you say, uh, the two two Miller boys hopefully kick on. We saw some good signs from them towards the end of last season. So another good solid season. There's a couple of extra teams in the league as well. So so plenty of opportunities. And with a start earlier, it means hopefully they'll get a decent run of matches and not just a couple of start of season, a couple of end of season. So. So lots of it, lots of excitement and lots to look forward to from the from the the, the, the Devils. Uh, Tom Willie's captain of the team this year, and obviously we had William Lawson that late signing. I, I guess some of us were hoping that was going to be inevitable, but uh, so it's it's good to see Willie on track. We know how much he, he loves racing around Armadale, but but uh, a good strong team, and the, but they'll have their challenge ahead of them on Friday with the. With Berwick, as you mentioned already, some of the riders here not be like you. I'm keen to see how young Ace Piper gets on. That was maybe when we thought of the Devils, that was maybe sort of name we might have saw coming into our team. But that's but that's the fantastic thing is we've got two teams in the uh, in the north competing well and going for a second season in that uh, National Development League. Definitely. I'm sure we would have liked Ace Piper in the team, but I suppose the fact that T was riding for Berwick uh, kind of biases the situation in their favour. But there we go. We'll see how things develop. Yeah. And uh, yeah, last season's match between the Devils and the Bullets was a 48-42 narrow win for, for the Devils. And uh, we saw a sign where you know, Leon Flint led the Bullets at that time, and he's now up in the... In the Premiership this year, got his permanent spot this year, so that shows what what the guys can can go for if they get to that level. But but when he came to Armadale last year, it was a uh, uh, George Rothery that uh, showed him the best way around Armadale. We'll take a look at uh, that race now. Leon Flint passed away. Rothery really putting him under pressure there. Look at this 
open rotary. My goodness, Flint lifts and rotary goes to the front. This is extraordinary. That really is some ride. He's pulling away. keep thinking will something go wrong for him but not so far what a sensational ride that was definitely the ride of the night and you would certainly think that Leon Flint would be favourite for the race when he makes the gate but the home reserve has taken him from the back in sensational fashion so that was a fantastic race there from George Rothery showed us what the National League is all about and we hope we're going to see some fantastic racing like that every week at uh, Armadale, whether it's the Devils or the Monarchs, and we'd encourage everybody to get along there on Friday night. As per usual, you can get your tickets from the from the, De the Devils website. I'm sure there's a link from the Monarchs website as well, armadaledevils.co.uk, uh, and uh, you get your tickets there for the match. And uh, you'll also be able to buy your tickets for the stream every, again, as per last season, every match live streamed at Armadale this season and we'll, we'll look forward to some exciting speedway. A uh, young lad who didn't quite get the opportunity he probably deserved last year was uh, was Josh Embleton. He he was racing with the Newcastle Gems who unfortunately lasted a couple of matches but uh, but he, he'll be desperate to to uh, get back on track this year and uh, be really pleased to sign for the Devils and uh, at the press and practice last week Mike took the opportunity to speak to him. What we have with us here, the Devil's new boy, who's uh, coming all the way from Newcastle to ride for Farmerdale. Josh, uh, you had a very unfortunate year last year, but uh, you'll be looking forward to getting some more regular action once this season gets underway. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had a lot of unlucky seasons since, since uh, Leicester days. Obviously, I joined Leicester halfway through, won the league with them. Um, Covid hit. Then I've seen started with Newcastle the new seasons and two meetings against Armadale ourselves, going away. And then um, that team was through from the league, so I was left with nothing. Top four for the playoffs yeah. this year. Yeah, we could get there, and uh, you get on okay with all the other guys. They're a nice bunch of lads, I think. Yeah, they are. Yeah, teams, teams really good. Um, I think we can definitely make a top four. Definitely top four. Hopefully, we'll push on to win the league. That's him. You're a guy who's, who's probably been riding for a few years, but not really ridden all that many meetings. So this is your chance, is it? Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. I've been around. With, a little while now, um, but like I say, I've been uh, I've been quite unlucky with team places, joining teams here and there, doing the odd guest bookings. And so yeah, this this is basically the year where I need to kick on and try and do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice surprise when John Campbell won, Joe. Yes, I was in my boots. I, I, I didn't think it was going to happen again. So yeah, but I've got to prove I've got to prove I was worth it this year. Yeah. So are you still right at Newcastle at all? Yeah, no. Not at all, to be honest. Um, I had the press and practice day. I, I, didn't go, I didn't go down the line. Um, I had a practice day at Red Call that day. And that's all I've done this year. And I've done it day, and then I'll see you back next Friday. Yeah. So when you come good, the Morrocks might have a chance of saying again? Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, see, see where we go. It's a bit of a big step, and see where we go, yeah. Okay, Josh, well, I wish you all the best. Yes. I look forward to watching you when it all starts next week. 
So that's a bit of an exciting match to look forward to on Friday, Mike. Uh, your thoughts ahead? Do you think the Devils can get off the winning start? I think they can just about edge it. I think it'll be close because, as I said, both teams have got three strong heat leaders and some promise in the other ranks, but uh, it'll be enjoyable. I, I fancy the Devils by similar score to what they got last year. Yeah, that would that would do me nice. A nice start to the season for the Devils. A home win would be great on Friday evening. We look forward to seeing you all there back at Armadale on Friday night. Remember to get your tickets from the website in advance or on the gate. Uh, when you get there on Friday night. Uh, we'll be back next week with probably what we hope will be a more normal preview show, but, but for now and, and for tonight, I'd like to thank Mike for joining us. Uh, wish Graham Munsey well as he's been under the weather today, so hopefully he's back fully fighting fit for Friday to help you in that cold commentary spot, and uh, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>